Hello, hello. We can hear you. All right. So first of all, how are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good. And good. Now I, I want to, huh? How are you? Oh, I'm well. I'm well. I've just been very busy, but it's a good busy <laughs> because it's always teaching somebody new. And I like that kind of busy, right? I'm like the busy bee. You ever watch a bee? Yeah. He, he's always doing something, right? Always going to the next flower, the next flower, bringing that honey. So the honey is newnetics. I'm the bee that brings you the honey of newnetics. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so now here's what I want you to do. For the record, this is called roll call. You ever do that in school? No. Okay, roll call, R-O-L-L, -L, means that when the teacher comes in, the students give their names. And in this case, I want you to give your name and I want you to spell it so that I can make sure that I have it correctly in my notes, okay? Who wants to go first? You do it. Your name is simple. Okay, it's Diva. D-I-V-A. Okay. Okay, I'm Michaela. It's spelled I-M-A-K-A-Y-L-A. -A -A. Those are so, those names are so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, man, who gave you those beautiful names? Our mom. I was supposed to be named after a cartoon. <laughs> Say that one more time. I was supposed to be named out of cartoons. And I wanted to after, after a cartoon? Yeah. Oh, you know, I have a brand new granddaughter. My daughter had a girl about a month ago, and she named her Nala. And I said, where did you get that name? You know, right? Yeah. From some, what is it? Some movie. I can't remember. Uh, I think it Nala. was. Is that, is that the, um, the Lion King, right? Yeah, I think, I think that was yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The Lion King. I said, okay. Well, this is a nice name, and it is. All right, so let's get started here. We only have an hour. How was your mom? She's good. All right. Okay. So she'll probably peek her head in before we finish, so we'll talk to her later. Okay, so today, guess what letter we're going to be going over? A, B, C, D. I forgot the place. That's all right. We spoke a little bit last time about the letter Aleph. Not a whole lot. I'll go back to that. But that would be like the English letter A. So what comes next? Uh, B. Ba. Yeah. B. Ba. Bait. Remember that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Hold on one moment. Let me pull up my notes. Mm -hmm. And you I can stop at any time and ask me questions, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Aleph means strong. A people strong. Yes. Yeah, right oh, you have those notes in front of you? Yep. Yeah. Come on, go ahead and tell me a little bit about Aleph before I get started. Aleph means strong. A means A means people strong. And yeah, she got it on. Hold on. Before I share my notes, let me go back to you guys. All right, give me Aleph again. Strong. Strong. And then the what else does it mean? The letter A is people strong. You said people strong? Yeah, for A, for A. And what, what, what did I mean by people strong? Did you write it down? No, I didn't write that down. <laughs> did I tell you what part of the body that goes with? Did we get that far? No, I didn't get it. Okay. I want you to take your eraser or whatever and erase the word people because I don't remember giving you that. I don't even know what people strong means. <laughs> because that's what, that's what we did. But it's all right. It's okay. I might have said it and forgot that I said it. But I'm going to give you a better idea. Okay? So we're going to go back to Aleph next week. Okay. okay. But I will tell you what part of the body is so you can start like looking in the dictionary or the encyclopedia and start learning about this part of your body. Okay. okay. Have you ever heard of, I'm going to spell it for you. You tell me what it is. Okay. Okay. S P I N E. Spine. Spine. Have you ever heard that word? Yes. So like when in the right you got it. What happened? You got an itch back there. What happened just now? You, no, you, I was gonna show. You're scratching your back just now. What? No. Are you itching? No, the spine. <laughs> no. 
They have something called a back scratcher that you can put back there and just get rid of that itch. No. I'm asking you about the spine and you started itching your back. Well, how, what what no, happened? Because I'm feeling my spine. <laughs> oh, you're giving me the example of your spine. Yes, it's right. Oh, man, I messed up again. It's in the You're middle. right. What does your spine look like? Do you know? Straight. But Good. It's also, bendable. it's also bendable. Straight but bendable, flexible, you might call it, right? Yeah. It can flex, right? Mm-hmm. And then it can bounce. It can go back to being straight, right? Yes. Good. All right, so we're not going to go deep into the spine today, but I wanted you to know what the letter Aleph means in the Arabic language as a fitra letter. Can you say fitra? Fitra. fitra. Yeah, F-I-T-R-A-H, fitra. Say it again. Fitra. Right. And do you remember what that means? Of course I didn't. You think I'm going to tell you everything that I know so you can be smarter than me? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's not in my book. No, it's not going to be in there because we, we went through some quick kind of lessons last time. That was just really like introductory stuff. So I didn't go deep into anything. But the word fitra is an Arabic word. Okay. Okay. You might want to write that down. A-R-A-B-I-C. Arabic word, and you spell it F I T R A H. You look right here. Okay, got it. You got it? Yep. Okay. And fitra simply means nature, N A T U R E, nature, like Mother Nature. Okay, okay. Like all the natural things you see around you. That were created by God, created by Allah, not the mm-hmm. thing, not the folk, not the fake stuff that m- people create. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fitra is only a word to be used when you're talking about like the apple on the tree, or the clouds in the sky, or the mountain, right? Things that the Creator created, not things that we came like an house or a car. That's not fitra. Okay. Okay. So give me some other examples of things in the fitra. Well, trees, mm-hmm. branches, mm-hmm. Uh, bushes, fruits, there flowers. Yeah. Um, carrots, soil. Yeah. Water. Give me, give me ten more things. Let me see how fast you can do this. Ten more things that you find in nature or in the fitur. One is flowers. One, trees, two. Uh, no, she needs four. No, 10 more. You you gave me those already. Okay. Um, Think about nature. Potatoes. Yeah, okay. Worms, worms, worms. Berries. Yeah. Um, Carrots. <laughs> now, don't just think about food. Think about everything in nature. Bird, water underground. Water's underground. Water is underground. Water. Water, yeah. Birds. Birds. Seeds. Worms. Seeds, yeah. Birds. Did you say worms? Yeah, worms. Yeah, but yeah, that's right. Bugs, insects. Bugs, of course. Uh, All insects. Give me something that's not insects or animals. Um, the sky. The sky, yeah. What else clouds. is in the sky? What, oh, what, clouds. What, the sun. Clouds. What, come out of, what comes out of the clouds? Water. Rain. What do you call Rain. it? Rain. Rain. That's in the fifth row. And then... Um, hmm. Stars. Stars. Moon. Moon. Moon lights. What is what is that called? Light. Light is there? light is in the fit Yeah. Um, man, y'all doing well. Look, boy, you're doing better than I thought you'd do. Give me five more things in the fit Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you this first. What about fire? Yes. <laughs> fire is a part of the fit A rock, a rock. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Answer the question first. Is fire a part of the fitra created by Allah? Yes. Yeah, you're confident because you're correct. I That's right. I like. Okay, now you said rock. Yeah, rock. But rocks don't move, and how can they be a part of nature? I know, I don't know. Uh, you saying you you think rocks are a part of the fitra? <laughs> you don't think rocks are a part of the fitra? I think so. I think Were rocks so. created by God? Yes. yes. 
And it's a part of the vitro. <laughs> I was trying to fool you a little bit. I was trying to fool you. I want you to think, okay? Everything that is created around you that you know human beings did not make. We did not create rocks, right? We did not create soil. You gave soil, very good word you gave earlier. We did not create fire. We did not create the winds. How about cold temperature? Is that a part of the fitra? Yes. Of course. What creates cold temperature or temperature? What is temperature? How, uh, how is that a it's part of the fitra? It's certain degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, which means how hot it is, how cold it is, or how, min how mindy it is, and all that. Yeah. All right. Also all right. Humidity, part of the fitra. Very good. All right. I think I've, I think I've gotten enough from you on that. So we're going to move on to our lesson for letter B today. You ready? Copy. Letter, wait, I'm writing down. I don't know. Y'all don't look like y'all ready. Y'all don't even look like y'all want to write nothing down. You look tired. I, I think I saw y'all yawning. No, I Oh, haven't. those are your notes. Let me see them one more time. Oh, let me flip that. Let me see those notes one more time. I have to make sure they're real because children your age don't like to walk. Whoa, look at all that writing. They're real. That's incredible. Do you have an adult standing next to you that's writing your notes and then just handing it to? Oh, they're no, real. look at all of those Nobody's notes. Nobody's here, not even my mom. My goodness. All right, I'm ready to teach now that I know y'all are ready to learn. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Let's get started. You have to sing that with me. Let's get started. Let's, Let's get, get, get. I don't hear started. you singing. Okay, I'm a little louder. A little louder and clap. A little okay. harder. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Okay. All right. Whew. All right. Here we go. Let me pull up my notes. Yarn. You girls are out of sight. I love y'all. Y'all are very good. I love this. Hold on one minute. Find my notes and share my screen. Here we go. All right. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get started on this letter B. Now, if you talk to somebody who speaks Arabic, they might pronounce this B as ba. Can you say ba? Ba. Yeah. But that's that's not the original way of pronouncing this letter. Hold on, just trying to get the right size here. Yeah, that's not the original way of pronouncing this letter. The original way is th the word bait. Can you say that? Bait. 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 Yeah, you see it up top there? Yeah. It's the also letter B, that's the capital B, that's the small B, and that's the Arabic word bait. Bait. And that's the Arabic B, okay? Now let's talk about what bait means. Bait yeah, equals what? Uh, belly. Belly. Equals belly. Now, when you look at the English capital letter B, right? Yeah. Isn't it interesting that it's like the same shape as the pregnant woman? Yeah, it kind of does. You, because you see it? Yeah. The top part is this top part of the B, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And the bottom part would be the pregnant part of the belly. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then that's it. <laughs> now let's talk yeah. about what the B means. I'm going to teach you why bait is the letter B. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, what did we say B means? Belly. Hmm. Right. Okay. Let's see why. Because it represents any place that fills up, empties out, okay. and then refills. Read that, both of you, one at a time. Okay. Any place that fills up, empties out, and then refills. Okay. Any place, any place that fills up, up, empties out, and then refills. Very good. Very good. Now, let me ask you a question. Anybody can answer. Okay. What in the world does what I just said 
have to do with a pregnant belly? Because a belly holds, it fills up like a baby's inside. And then when you have the baby, it empty, your stomach empties out. And mm. then it could happen again or it can stay. Okay, good. So, but, but, but then let me ask you a question now. If, if, if the word bait, the letter B in Arabic means any place that fills up, empties out, and then refills, what about if you're not pregnant? Does the belly still do that? Yes, because of food and digestion. Oh, explain that to me, please. Okay, so when in the morning you feel hungry, your stomach starts to hurt, then you eat, and then you use the restroom maybe. Then you come out the restroom, and then your stomach is completely empty, and then you're hungry again, you go and eat. So it's You like, are such a genius. So it's That's like, exactly like, right. When you have breakfast, that is, you go to the bathroom. When you have lunch, you go to the bathroom. Over and over and over oh, again, so right? And then you wait the next day. <laughs> yes, there you go. Perfectly explained. Yay. Okay, let's look at what else this letter means. Okay. Hold on one moment. Look at this. What is that? A house. Oops. House. Now, what in the world would a house? Because if you ask the person who, who speaks Arabic, what does the word bait mean? He's going to say, oh, that means a house. For some reason, I pronounce it bet. Yes, bet in Hebrew is pronounced bet in Arabic is pronounced bet. You're such a smart young lady. Mm -hmm. But what in the world, I repeat, does that have to do with the meaning of the letter B? How does a house fit into that description? Well, well, oh, because when you when you have a house, it's full up, right? And then maybe you step out to go somewhere, or you travel somewhere, the house empties. And then when you come back, the house is refilled with people, not food and stuff like that. But it'll also be furniture too, because furniture stays inside. Okay. You get some furniture and then get another one. All right, now I'm going to ask you a tricky question. See, this one I'm going to answer. Okay. What if um, what if everybody moves out of the house? You move to a different house, so the house is empty. But how does that match the meaning that we have here? So when you move houses, someone's obvious, it's going to be on the market. So everybody's want to, going to want to buy it. So then people are going to come in, move out, maybe you, and then the person who buys the house moves in while you're moving out. And then two minutes later, maybe they move out. They Another couple comes in, you move, another family comes in. It's like a continuation. Yeah, continuation. Uh, okay. So it fills up. Empty. What other kinds of ways can the house empty out? Besides people just like moving out when they're ready to move. What other kinds of way, ways does a house empty, become empty? Furniture. Say it again. Furniture. What about the furniture? Like sometimes you can take out the furniture and the house is like empty. Maybe like you're trying to renovate the house. Maybe you're trying to change the house a little. You're going to have to empty mm -hmm. all the furniture. You're going to mm -hmm. have to clean the whole house up. And then once you do that, the whole house is empty. empty. Maybe you start again tomorrow. So the whole house is empty by itself. And then you come back again, you do all of the renovation, put the mm -hmm. furniture, new furniture, mm -hmm. walls, whatever, whatever you already took out of the house. Then it refills. Oh, okay. So all right. Now let's say I'm living in the house by myself. What can happen to me to cause the house to become empty? Uh, if you live by yourself, yeah, if I'm just by myself, I'm let's say an older person. I'm an old man. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, you know, I'm in my last days. I might be like 87 years old, 92 years old, and I'm still living by myself. Maybe I have a housekeeper or something like that, or somebody to help me with my medicine and that kind of stuff. But what can happen to me, especially at that age, that would cause the house to then become empty? Well, it can go both ways. It's either like maybe you you like pass away or you that's what i'm looking for i can die <laughs> right because you're 92 you're old you're taking pills. Oh, yeah, i can die earlier than that but if you know if i'm in my last days then i can die then what happens to the house you mentioned it earlier 
Empties. Empties. Nobody's in there no more. And then somebody can put it on the market, you said, right? Yeah. And, and, build it it and somebody can buy the house and it becomes their new house. And like you just said, they fill the house until it becomes empty again. So it's over and over and over, right? Yeah. All right. Let's keep moving. This is great. Hold on. Now, what about this other B word? Hold on. Let me, let me get it. The boat. Explain to me how the boat empties, fills, empties, fills over and over again. So let's say this is a cruise boat and you're going on a cruise to the islands. Okay, explain. Okay, so let's let's break it down. So if for instance you're going on cruise and stuff like that, like you said. So can you get a little bit closer to, to the computer so I can hear you better? Because it's like far away kind of. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. A boat can empty from like people. And also, like, since you're on a boat and everything, what about the water? Can the water, like, make it empty? I want to know just about the B word, the boat. We'll get to water later. That's a different letter. Yeah. Okay, so let's say you're going on a... No, no, no. Let her keep, let her keep going. Let her, oh. let her stretch her imagination a little bit. How does the boat fill up? By people, by the food, by the furniture, by the beds. And because there's people inside of it, so there must be a lot of things we need to do there. Yeah. And once it ends, the boat is like empty. Everything is out and it's empty. And then time to come back up, it refill, refills with people. Good. So in other words, if I'm going to, you know, a cruise to Jamaica, when I get to Jamaica, everybody on the boat who's going to Jamaica also, they get off the boat, right? Yeah, so the boat empties of people at least, right? Yeah. And then when it's time to come back to the United States or wherever I'm coming from, then we all get back on the boat and it fills up again. And then when we get back to the United States to Florida or wherever we left from, what happens? It empties. It empties again. Very good. That's the B word called boat. Now let's get to the next B word. It's called barrel. I don't know why they put this. Oh, let me try and hold on one second. Let me do something different here. Wait a minute. I got gadgets in front of me that I don't need. Let's hold on one second. Oops, there we go. Give me just one minute to get control of, close the dock, yes, okay, here we go. I'm good now. All right, what is that again? A barrel. Okay, tell me how this B word fills up, empties, refills, yada, yada, By water. yada. By water. Okay. This time there's no people. It fills by water. You need some water for your house. You grab a bucket, a, a barrel. You use the water. You empty. You go again. Mm -hmm. You refill it with water. Then you empty it. What if the what if the, what if instead of water is oil? Does it still do that? Yeah. Yes, it still does it. You finish the. If oil. I have a barrel of oil. Can I fill it up and empty it and fill it and all of that and still? It's gonna last, but you can still do it. Well, I have to use the oil for something, right? Yeah. So you it it, it right. does still do that, right? Yeah, it's empty too, right? What what if what if I filled it up with Legos? You know what Legos are? Yeah. The little toy. Yep. What if I filled the barrel up with Legos? Let me see you answer this one. Because you. It's the same thing. It empties because you're after you're done with the, the minute you take out all the Legos, it's empty, and then you put it back in and refill. 
You're brilliant. Can, can you name something else I can put in this in this barrel to fill it up and then empty it out and then fill it up again? Ooh. Hmm. Food. Yeah. What kind of food? Apples, bananas, Apples? bananas. What about oranges? Oranges too. Yeah. Okay. Some you... vegetables. Yeah. Carrots. Yeah. Or I can fill it up with stuff that's not food, right? Like we said, Legos or. Like... So... Can't you grow things in that? In the barrel? Yeah, in the barrel. I don't know. Have you seen that happen? I think one time I did. I'm not sure anybody would want to because it's going to be dark in there and, and plants, light, they like light. Yeah, yeah, it's going to probably die. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a person would think to grow anything in a barrel just to transport things that they grow already. Mm. Yeah, because I was thinking of something like you can plant stuff. Something like what? You have to move closer also. I can't hear you from back there. You it's, were thinking about I, what? I was thinking you can actually plant things in there, but then when you mentioned it doesn't get enough light, that made more sense. Yeah. Plants because love you, light. You can put fish, yeah? It's when you yeah. transport fish, sure. you put it inside. Maybe you're shipping something. Yeah, the fisherman's boat. If the oh, fisherman yeah. will go out to sea and they'll, they'll put fish in the barrel, yeah. The fish don't have to keep living, so they don't care. Or they could still put water maybe in the barrel until they get to where they're going. Yeah. But it's not necessary. Once you pull them out of the water, they don't have to continue to live. Yeah, you ready for the next B word? Yeah. Um, what is this? A farm. Oh, my. What happens in that place? Horses. Would you, wanna live, would you wanna live in there? Is that a house? Is no, that late? It could work as a house, but more. More often, it's considered a place like where you can put your animals inside. Yeah. It's more so it's kind of like a house for animals, right? Yeah, a house for animals, not necessarily. Okay. Okay. So like now, so how does this work now with the filling up and the emptying and the filling and all that? So there are stables, right? And everybody, maybe you live in a huge town full of barns, right? And then they all have their different things. So let's say. Um, you want to maybe you own cows, right? Some people mm -hmm. would use that and they'd sell their animals to people to like, like they would, um, let's say, uh, like, you know, a uh, fish market, right? They yes. chop those things, they give it away. So once every animal is gone, they, they refill it with more animals, more animals. And then sometimes um, the older animals, they end up dying because they get sick or whatever. They, their age gets older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they decay, they die. But also there's gonna be babies that come after that whole situation. Ah. So then the babies refill the house, they start growing older, older, older. Once they're done, comes in new kids, comes in again, come again, come again, come. So it's like a cycle. Wow. Okay. Like great, great answers. Yeah. All right. You ready for at least one more B word? I am pro I was uh, ready. Any type of leeway. Both of you are ready. I, I know. Ready. I know. All right. Let's see if I put another one here. Oh, look. What is that? Now, this one is harder. This is, this is really hard. Oh, yeah. This is hard. It's not like tell it me. People. <laughs> All right. Tell me how that oh, fills up, this empties, so and it refills over and over again. <laughs> what is the bad? Okay. Uh, I want to say baseball because when you have a bat, you swing at a ball, and then after you swing at it, another ball comes, you swing at it, another ball comes, you swing at it. I was going to say that, but I'm still thinking. I That's think correct. I That's right. Oh, my God, I got that on my first try. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like um, uh, you kind of really have to think about it. Because yeah. you really won't, you really don't think of a of a baseball as like filling up with of a bat as a you don't think of a bat as filling up with a ball. But when it comes in contact with the bat, it's like food coming in contact with your stomach, right? Yeah. And then when you hit the ball out of the park, mm -hmm. it's like the bat emptied the ball. Yeah. It's kind of theoretical. They call it theoretical. That's a big word, right? It's not really like actual actual but it's theoretical like i could i'm just comparing how food will hit the belly 
and I'm comparing that with how the ball will hit the bat or the bat will hit the ball, and then the ball will be sent somewhere else like the food is finally digested and then eliminated and the food is sent somewhere else. So you can, you can understand how that yeah. matches. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's bat. Oh, I'm yeah. going to give you a nice one. Now I think I put this one here. I hope I did. Yeah. Oh, my Talk to me about the bathtub. So bath, it's the same thing. Like, like the other ones, a bathtub, you fill it with water. When you're done taking your bath or anything, you pull the thing up, the water drains. And then you, when you want to take another bathtub. You pull what thing up? up? What, what what thing? What are you talking about? The, the faucet? faucet? You the pull faucet. the faucet up? Yeah. You, you pull the faucet up? What do you pull up? The, the soap The soap dish? What do you, you the said drainer. the thing. What is the thing? You pull up the drainer. When you're done, you pull up the drainer. The, the you water pull up drain. the plug. Plug? plug? The plug. You pull oh. the plug. And then the water goes down the drain. Because oh. we have like this in our bathtub, you have to push it down and then it unlocks itself. Yeah, it's still a plug. Oh, okay, okay. A plug is anything that's plugging up so that the water can't come out or in. Oh, okay. okay. That's called a plug. Okay. Okay? <laughs> yes. All right. All right. So you're absolutely correct. The bath tub. Perfect dance. Perfect dances. I like that. I think I put one more B word in here, but I'm not sure. Do you want me to check? Yes. All right. Hold on. This is going to be the million dollar B word. I think I put it here. Let's see. Oh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm excited and I put it up here. I don't know. Boy. Let me read hope you're this. excited like I'm excited. Let me read this. Bones. The bone marrow produces stem cells, the building blocks that the body uses to make the different blood cells. Red cells, white cells, and platelets. Yeah, let me ask you a question. How old are you again? Nine. Ten. You're ten now? Yeah, I'm t- no, I'm, no, I just... Um, oh, you're 10. Yeah, I'm 10. Your sister is nine. Mm-hmm. And when, when, when is your birthday? February. Not- it's coming up soon. Yours is February. Oh, good. Okay, we have to do something special for your birthday. And when is your birthday? August 27th. August 27th. Yeah. And February 10. Yep. Okay, I have to write that down. <laughs> All right. Now, now, my next question is... <clears throat> You're nine years old, you said? Yep. And you you were able to read that whole sentence without making any mistakes? Yes. Now I'm going to ask you a very, what could be an embarrassing question. You ready? Mm-hmm. Are you a midget? Are you like an adult midget? You're not really a nine-year-old. You, you got a kidding with me, right? No, I'm a nine-year-old. I don't know other nine-year-olds who do that well like that. She is a nine-year-old. Wow. Yeah, she just. She that was, is great. Read I, it one more time. Read it one more the, time. The bone marrow produces stem cells, the building yep. blocks that the body uses to make the different blood cells, red cells, white cells, and platelets. All right. She That's would great. Read the street signs. Yeah, that's wonderful. She would read anything she sees. Okay. Well, we're going to get, we're going to have a lot to read. If you keep taking this course, you need plenty to read for both of you. All right. <laughs> now, you see the picture on the right? Yep. Yeah. The red um, so on top of that square on the left, it says red marrow. Yeah. yeah. Why does it have and that you... name? Never mind. Hmm? Nothing. Never mind. I just... Okay. Then you see the bone in the middle, right? Yeah. And then you see yellow marrow in the other square. I don't know if you can see that on your computer. I see it. I see Perfect. It. Okay. Then beneath that, it says spongy bone, compacted bone, blah, blah, blah. So the marrow is in what part of the bone? In, ooh, like is it on the outside of the bone? In, no. I think it's the, one, the red marrow is on the outside. The yellow marrow is in the inside. So the bone mm. marrow... I don't know. You might want to think about that. I was going to say the whole 
bone marrow was like the whole bone. Mm-hmm. I was going to say that. Yeah. But having double thoughts. I think that they're both inside of it. The red marrow, the yellow marrow. You think so? Yep. Here's what I want you both to do. Yeah. Make that your homework question. Okay. Where can I find the marrow of the bone? Don't do it right now. Next week, yeah. we're going to start out with you giving me your homework assignment, okay? Should we email you? It, you should or? email it to me. That's right. Okay. And then I'll I'll put it up on the screen when we meet next uh, weekend. Okay. What, what is it? Where can I find? Where can I yeah. find? What is it? The marrow of the bone. The marrow of the bone. Marrow of the bone. I knew we were going to get homework in, in one middle of the session. You're going to get homework every week. I love homework. So much fun. And I even uh, did the fish <laughs> one. I even did the fish <laughs> one. Yeah, we did the <laughs> fish breathe oxygen. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, we did it. Okay, so remind me to make sure that you, you give me your answers before we before we finish, okay? I emailed yours. I emailed mine. Okay, yeah, but that was so many weeks ago because everything happened in between that that I, I'd have to go back and look for it. Mm -hmm. But I will. I'll go back and look for it. Now, right. hmm. so what does this B word have to do with emptying, refilling, and emptying over uh, and over again? Uh, Based on this description of the word I'm gonna bone. Use, I'm going to use text evidence. Oh, okay. fancy, fancy. It says different blood cells. Which means there's different blood cells that enter that bone. So it says red cells or white cells and platelets. I'm not 100% sure what a platelet is. That's what I'm going to add to my homework. So Very I'm good. About that. But all I know is that maybe, because also the yellow marrow and the red marrow kind of, I was going to say, represents the different blood cells. But then I thought about it and that was completely off. So I was thinking that the different blood cells, like they switch. Maybe red cells come in and then the, it leaves. Then the white cells come in and then they leave. And then the platelets come in and then they leave. And then it continues, continues, continues. So it does the same cycle. Red cells, okay. red cells, and platelets. Red what cells, you just gave me, platelets. what you just gave me is going to be one of your homework words. The word is, you gave me a hypothesis. Hypothesis? I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Do you know how to spell that? Okay, spell it out. I'm going to give it to you. Spell it on your paper. You ready? Mm -hmm. H. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y. P. O. T H. E. S. I. S. S. I. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. That's one of your homework questions. What is. And hypothesis or a hypothesis. Isn't it when you guess, like you guess something? I don't know. Look it up and Outside. put it in your homework. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Uh, that's your that's your work. That's not my work. I, I'm, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, because I remember that's we true. Because I remember I was learning this word with all my classmates, and we were researching about it. Okay, well then, what you're going to do is double check your findings. You have to double check what a hypothesis is, okay? And then I can gather all my evidence. Gather that evidence, that evidence, girl. And then you're going to let me know next week whether it is like red blood cells and then replaced by white blood cells and then replaced by blood yellow cells. blood cells. And all of these things are just kind of replacing each other. Yeah. That's in hypothesis. But I want you to see if that hypothesis is true or false. Or maybe oh, in between. Oh maybe God, nobody said, knows. You just said the answer. <laughs> what did I say? You said either the hypothesis is true or false. <laughs> you're, which, you're quick. Who technically gave <laughs> the answer out loud. You should be an so, attorney when you get older. Now we know. No, you don't know. No, because I didn't give you the meaning for hypothesis. Well, you didn't give us the meaning, but you gave us a hint on how it well, you take that hint and run <laughs> and tell me what you come back with. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is fun. All right. Now, next point. All right. And that was a very good 
um another word supposition supposition can you write can you spell that supposition spell it out s mm -hmm. a sup 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 like supper okay then s p listen there's a vowel there sup like suppose c s o p no go sup. back Sup, sup, sup. Oh, sup. F U. Yeah. S U P. Pronounce it. Sup. Sup. Oh. Supposition. Suppo. O. Give it to me from the beginning again. S U P. O. Mm -hmm. Listen to how I'm pronouncing it now. Sup. Sup. Oh. Not sup, but sup. Sup. How many P's are in there? Two. Right. Now I'll do it again from the beginning. Okay. S U P P. S U P P O. Supple. 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 Not supple. Supposition. Is it T I O N? Go back to the beginning. Let me see if you got it all right. S U P P O supposition. I T I. Keep going. I T I supposition. O N. Spell it all again. I think you got it right. S U. P P O S I T I O N. Spell it one more time. I think S my brain my brain didn't hear it correctly. Say it again. S U. Yeah. P P. Yeah. O S. Yeah. I T I. Yeah. O N. You got the prize. That's amazing. So that's one of your homework questions. What, what does the word supposition mean? Wow, this is a lot of homework. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if I got this on the test, now I know. <laughs> All righty. You ready for one more B word? Yep, I'm so I ready. I think yeah. I might have one extra one. But the point in this B word is that the bone has to fill up with something, empty that something, and then replenish or refill that something over and over and over again. Yeah. You ever think about how hard your bones are? Like feel the bone in your wrist right now. It's super duper hard. Super hard. And earlier you were feeling your spine, right? That yeah. bone? Okay. The back of your bone. Now you see how hard your bone is? Uh-huh. Yeah. How is something that hard able to grow? All right, you see the wall in your house? Dark. Yes. Yeah. Your bone is harder than that wall. Huh? Your bones are they're harder than that wall. Let me go for that wall. <laughs> okay some of your bones might be harder even than bricks but <laughs> bricks don't grow <laughs> yeah. and that wall that wall doesn't grow how no, do your bones, bones grow fragile. when your bones are that hard So your next homework question, your next homework question is how do bones grow? How do bones grow? Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, enough with the homework questions. That's it. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Okay. You got enough homework questions. Now <laughs> yeah. let's go to the next B word. You ready? Yep, I'm prepared. Now, oh, look, now, now, this is not a thing. 
this is an action, right? Yes, yeah. an action. If okay. Buying something, I'm going to answer. Buying. How is buying? Emptying, filling, emptying, refilling over and over and over again. And this also has to do with selling. Yes, so, it does. Let's say you're the, not the shopper. Let's erase the shopper. Let's pretend you're the cashier or you're the person owning that business or you're selling the stuff. First of all, you're going to have, people are going to come up to you and buy either your products, your vegetables, your fruits, or maybe you work in a farmer's market. They're going to come every day, every Tuesday. Maybe whenever this farmer's market is open, they come, they buy, they buy, you get cash. Then you have to refill all that uh, fruits or vegetables, whatever you're selling products. You have to refill it the next day. So when they come back, you have everything stocked up. So you empty everything, you refill it. You empty everything, you refill it. You sell everything. Now, for the shopper, when you food. run out of food, <laughs> when you run yes. out of food, mm -hmm. you have to go back to the farmer's market, yeah. spend your money again. And, then, and again. And then you so, go so, so it, 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 you empty the money out of your purse or your pocket. Out of your wallet, yeah. right? And then you refill your pockets or bag next time you come. Well, how do you it? refill your pockets? Where, where where's all that coming from? How do you, what what happens? How do you refill your pocket? From your house. <laughs> what do you mean? You, what? You, you mean to tell me you just you just got cash laying around your house like that? Oh, cash back, cash back. You know, I mean, you go home and then there's just more money. Uh, where does that money come from? Well, job. Yeah. Oh, do some work. Yeah. You do work, you earn money, you go buy stuff. Then you go and to work, you sometimes go. when you earn that money, you put oh. it in a savings. Savings what? Uh, uh, What's the name of that building? Uh, bank. Credit card. Another bank. B word. A bank. <laughs> so why is a bank a bank? If it's with the letter B, how do you explain emptying, refilling, and all of that? Because let's say your card has absolutely no money because you cashed it all out, right? Mm -hmm. And then you got, you work, you work, you work, you got cash, you go to the bank, put your money in your card, and then the bank is empty again. Another person comes, puts their money in their card, the bank is empty again. Then they hop, bounce out that place, and then the rest of the people come inside, cash in the check or card or whatever they want, they go. They come back, they go. They come yeah. back, they go. And it's, it just comes. So, so you mean to tell me, because every now and then I see this big armored car with uh, armed guards inside ooh. come up to the bank, right? Yeah. And they're bringing bags in, bags. And then sometimes they're taking empty bags. Oh. Is that the same as refilling and emptying and refilling that we're talking about? Yes. That's yep. right. Yes. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why the word bank is appropriate for what we're discussing. And it even starts with the letter B. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. These are all B words today. Yay! Now, here's a very important lesson. Okay. Nouns. We're going to talk oh. about <laughs> nouns. And what is a noun? Read it off the screen. A person, place, or thing. And what is a verb? Action word. Okay, name me 10 nouns. Okay, uh, uh, um, 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 come on. Can we do it together as a team? Or is it you, one yeah, team? I want as many from each one of you as you okay. do it. Uh, yeah, go one and then the next one go and then the next one and the next one. A desk is a thing. These no, are nouns. I'll start with B. I'll start with B. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to start with a B. Just any noun. Basket. Um, um, okay, but, but, but you gave me a B word. So how does a basket fill, refill, and empty? You go to the shop, you put stuff in the basket, you come back home, you empty, you go back and you and you literally come back and you and they, etc. <laughs> uh, and then uh, um, um, a car. Okay, a car. Um, car. Uh, you put stuff in the truck. Maybe you're going shopping, you're done shopping, you go home, you drive, you put it out, then you go the next day, put it in the bag, and you leave. And you leave. Okay, you don't have to describe uh, every noun. As the B, as a B, well, if you if you come up with a B word, then we'll talk about that emptying and refilling because the car is going to be under a different um, letter influence. The car is the K sound, right? Even though you spell it with C, it's the K sound, and the K means to capture. 
See, a car, when you sit in it, it captures you. It contains you. But well, we'll get to that some other time. So give me, give me the whole 10 nouns. Just give me words. Don't try to explain them. Just give me 10 nouns. Back and forth, one at a time. Who went last? Um, a garage. Yeah. A garage. Yeah. What is that? Is that a place person? A thing. No. A garage is a thing. What else is it? Uh, a place. A place. Very good. Did you whisper that to your sister? Mm. Did I hear you whisper? No, no. he whispered in my ear. Like, no uh, whispering. Yeah. yeah. All right. You go. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to say farmer's market. What is that? It's a place where people go to shop, but then like it yeah. only happens once a week, depending on the place. And so they close up their shops, they leave. They come back next week, they open their shops, they leave. It, it, and it continues like that. Very good. So it's a place. It's a noun. The farmer's market is a noun. What a, right? Uh, how many of you Okay. Need? Now in the farmer's market, it's a noun, but it does verbs. It does actions, right? Yeah, because you buy, sell. You yeah, sell. so you, you gave us both just now. Give me give me another yeah. noun. Next person. A TV. <laughs> a television, yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing, good. Okay. Uh, Next word. Let's see how long you can go before you run out of words. Video game. Video game. What is that? A person? It's also a verb. It's a noun and verb. A video game is a thing because it's played on technically a TV or a PlayStation, which isn't an actual thing. And also controller is a thing. But also it's a verb because you use your body to control those certain things. So it goes for both words again. Okay, well, let's let's make it easy. The video game is a thing. The video controller is a verb. Because it does an action, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Give me another one. Next person. Keep it coming. Uh, a telephone. A telephone. What is that? Is that a person? A thing. But, 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 but wait. When I call somebody on my phone, I hear a person. Uh, that's a person. Yeah, it's a person. It's so a, person. a phone is a person? No, and a thing. It's a both. You, well, how you... come I'm hearing a person? I know. It's a person and a thing. Then what is it? <laughs> an action word. 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 The phone is an action. You mean to tell me if I put the phone on my desk, it's gonna keep moving. It's gonna keep doing actions. No, it's. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Dave, I think I'm getting confused. Okay, can I help her out? Huh? Help her out. Phone okay, a friend. A phone, <laughs> like a phone, is literally a thing, except it's also a person because there's a person on the other line. But is the phone a person? No. Thank you. <laughs> but the phone does an action. It helps. It does do an action. People. But the action is not the phone. It's not the thing. It's, it's what you person. can do with that thing, right? You can FaceTime. Maybe you're on the like office phone. You can call. You can talk. It gives All those actions. towards each other. Right. But you're doing it through a noun. Okay. Give me the next word. Come on. Be quick. But a, a book. What is a book? A thing. No, that's definitely a person. You know how I know? Because every time I pick up a book, it says uh, by instructor Benjamin Bilal. That's a person. So a book is a person, right? Yeah, it is kind of a person because when Is you it? Me, no. So if I go say, go <laughs> tell instructor Benjamin Bilal that I'm going to be late for class. Do you go tell my book? Does it just because it has my name on it? No. Okay, so just because it has my name on it doesn't mean that it's a person, right? Yeah, you see, my book has my name on it, but it doesn't say anything or have anything to do with my social life. Drop. Beautiful answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just because it has your name on it doesn't mean that it's, it's a doesn't person. Doesn't mean it's you, right? Yeah. Okay, somebody says something bad about you and they use your name from school. And they say, she thinks she's so smart and she thinks she's so this and she thinks she's so that. They're using your name, but is that you? No. No, no. That's just a thing that they're saying. You are you. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me two more nouns, and then we're going to start on verbs. A, a printer. <laughs> a printer. Star, a printer. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's a kind of tricky one though because a printer. Yeah, and it's not necessarily. Well, when it prints, it's, is that a noun or a verb? But verb, verb. Right, but the printer the itself is a thing. Is a thing. Thank but you. That's the, actually Yeah, and yeah. What about? Yeah, you know what's you know what's difficult about that one? I don't know if you if you can understand it like this, but. <clears throat> Most words that end in er are verbs. Like if I if I'm a if I'm a talker, I talk a lot, right? Yeah. And that's an action. If I'm a walker, I walk a lot. Or a runner, I run a lot. So that's a verb, but printer seems to escape <laughs> that that meaning right there. Because a printer yeah, is it, actually a noun. But it's also a verb. It, it's a verb when you just say it prints. Yeah. Print me a copy. You don't say printer me a copy. You say print a copy. So that one's kind of different. We're gonna I'm gonna log that and remember that. Mm. Okay. But other well, than also, that, you're absolutely correct. Give me another verb. Yeah, but also mm -hmm. a verb, also a printer. It uses er because when it's printing. It's using like, okay, oh my God, I went off track. Okay, a verb has ER. So most things that end in ER means a verb because in the word verb, it has ER including. Yeah, but it, it, it means more like the doer of, of the action. Oh the one who does the action, like oh walker. Okay. But if he's walking, he's doing the action right now. But if he is just a walker, it doesn't mean he's walking right now. But that's what he does regularly. Okay. I got it. Okay. Can you give me another example of what I just gave you? The ER versus the ING. Now we're on verbs or now? Okay, verbs. Um... Hmm. A painting. No. Wait, 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 wait. Use that example. You said painting. Yes, a painting. Is is that an action? No, no, it's a noun, but I can use a painter. You know what's beautiful about that? <laughs> I like saying that. That a painter is the doer, right? Yeah. But a painting is a noun, right? It can be hanging on your wall, right? Yes. But if I am painting, I'm doing an action okay. right now. Mm -hmm. So I can be painting a picture. Mm -hmm. And after I finish painting the picture, I can hang it up on my wall as my painting. Then it becomes a noun. So it goes from being a verb and a doer, one who's doing it, a painter, then it goes right to being a, a noun once it's a painting, right? So these words are kind of tricky. You got to really think about how we use these words, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Give me one more hmm. verb word. I was going to say drinking, but that's a noun. Well, drinking is the action. Yeah. Who's but the person doing it? The what do you call that person? Drinker. A drinker, that's right. It could even be water or it could be juice, it could be whatever. That's a drink. Yeah. As it's being yeah. Okay. Let me see what now I got. I think I have a, do I have another homework question down here? Let's see. Yeah. Can oh. you name, can you name some, uh, I want you to do this as homework. Okay. Can you name some other nouns or verbs that begin with the letter B? Now, for homework, I want each of you to do 20 words. No, I'm sorry, that's too hard for you. That's too hard for you. I should have given you that. You're, you're only nine and ten. I, I don't know. Challenge. Yeah, challenge. You'll be up all night trying to think of that. Yes, I will. Yeah, uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me give you maybe three words you can handle. No. 20? No. You think yeah. you both can do 20 words each? Yeah. Each. 20 each. words a piece. Uh-huh. 
words that are nouns or verbs that begin with the letter B, mm -hmm. you're telling me. Yes. Yep. Yep. Almost to my face. Yes. yes. You can do yes. 20 B words. Yes. yes. Oh, it's on now. The challenge is on. <laughs> That's it. I ain't got no more to say to y'all. I'm going to wait for that homework. And I'm going to get it in my email. And I'm going to read it with pleasure. Okay. 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 All right. So our, 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 our. How do you spell what I just said? Because it sounds like our, our. O-U-R-H-O-U-R. -O -U -R. Oh, very good. Okay. So our, our is over. Yeah, I know. But Instructor Bilal's got other classes to teach and he's got some stuff to do with the family and it's a Saturday and all of that good stuff. So, but it this has been an absolute pleasure. I hope y'all had as much fun oh, as I I've did. had with you. I did. All right. Did you learn a lot today? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So tell me a few things that you learned before we sign off. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm wait, 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 let me get rid of my notes so you can't you can't look at them. So hold on. Wait a minute. There you go. Now tell okay. me a few things you both learned I today. I learned that B stands for reflex. Move up so I can hear you. Okay. I learned that the letter B could also be known as a pregnant woman, like the B word, like the letter B. And it mm. also means um fills, empties out, and then refills, which is also like every other thing, like a barrel, a boat, um, what else did I say? Farmers market, um what else was on there? Uh, a boat. Nah, I already said. You can boat. think of a new one, even if even if we didn't talk about it. Like I learned about a new word called hypnosis. hypnosis. Was it hypnosis that we no, mentioned? Hypo 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 <laughs> okay. Hypothesis. Okay, that's one of your homework and words. Platelets. Okay. Platelets, yeah. And, and you're going to tell me the difference between so, platelets and red blood cells and white blood cells, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And how the bone is a B word and how it refills and empties and refills. You're going to tell me that about bones and, and the marrow in the bone, right? Yes. Okay. doke. Okay. Give me some more about what you learned today. Uh, I learned 20 new verbs and nouns. And... Um, hmm. Yeah, let me even double check my homework. And I, any places that fills and empties out. Fitra. Mm -hmm. Fitra. Fitra. What was Fitra? Something meaning nature. Something like Go nature. Ahead. Like I don't, you can sky, sing too. Okay. The moon, the clouds. stars, the branches, the trees, the bushes, clouds, the soil, the water. Sing a song. Sing and it. Fire is a part of it. <laughs> oh, also K means capture. I wrote that down because I can't. Y'all are super duper. I'm telling you, I love y'all. That this is great. This is great. You're making my day. My heart is full. Yay! And I'm not gonna let it empty out. It's gonna stay full for every time I see you. It's gonna, it's gonna get fuller and fuller and fuller. Okay. Yay. All right. Okay. So tell your mom. Give her my greetings. Okay. And tell her we had a very successful class. It's being recorded. And as soon as it's ready, I'm going to email it to her so you can look at it uh, over and over again and learn more and more. Okay? Okay. Uh, All right, then. All right. Hey, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. They did wonderful today. But I think they, do they listen more? Because they can talk more than they listen. No, not, not when I'm teaching. I know I'm, a, I, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the number one teacher on planet earth. I know how okay. to interrupt them and get my answers. If I want them to talk a lot. I want them to talk a lot. Oh, okay, teacher. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So when you look back at the replay, you'll say, <laughs> wow, this is what instructor Bilal was talking about. My <laughs> girls are not a okay. sight. They dynamite. Okay. Okay. Anything, yeah. If anything I need to play in my party, please let me know. I'm ready. I will let you know. Okay. I will let you know. I'm very okay. proud of them. Both, both of them. Okay. Oh, they're equally great. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank equally you. great. Okay. okay I appreciate that. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. All Bye. right. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Okay.
Okay. Bye. Bye. We have to do our homework. And you, as soon homework. as you do the homework, email it to me. Okay. Yes. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. I like to say salam alaikum. Can you say that? Salam alaikum. Very good. I'll talk to you next week. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Oh, the bye bye is a B word. How do you explain <laughs> that? Oh, <laughs> when you greet somebody and then at the end you say bye and then you leave. You come back, you greet them, you say bye and then you leave. Finito. <laughs> Finito. Okay. Bye. All right, sweethearts. Y'all be good. <laughs>